Hi, Frugal Tech, and I am going to give you my five reasons why Windows 9 is going to be a monster success when it's released next year. Right after this, don't go away. Hey, thanks for uh, joining me today, and we always appreciate it when you like our videos, plus one of them, share them. And I always enjoy reading your comments, and I respond to them as quickly as I can. In September of 2011, I made a video called 10 Reasons Why Windows 8 Will Be a Failure. And I was pretty much right on the money. Um, we won't go there in this video, but I have a totally opposite feeling about Windows 9. Now, Windows 9, code name threshold, although Windows 9 is the obvious choice, but Microsoft's intending to release it somewhere around April of next year. Why will it be a monster success? Well, the first reason is there's a huge pent-up demand for new Windows PCs out there. There's millions of people that are just taking a pass right now on machines equipped with Windows 8. Also, there are hundreds of millions of computers running Windows 7 where people simply refuse to upgrade to Windows 8. So all those machines are in play right now. And of course, that's not including all the millions that corporate America and businesses throughout the world buy. You know what? It's definitely going to be time for them to upgrade, and they're going to be looking at Windows 9 instead of a Windows 8 machine. Don't blame them. The second reason, you know, Microsoft's learned from its mistakes. They listened to some of the wrong people in the beginning with the release of Metro and the, you know, the uh, no start menu and all that sort of stuff. So they've learned a thing or two, and they're not about to repeat the same mistakes. As a matter of fact, the start menu is coming back, of course. But more importantly, users will be uh, able to decide which UI they want to use. And they won't even have to look at that anymore, a met Metro on a desktop machine. That's pretty cool. Kudos to Microsoft. They're not going to make the same mistake again. Reason number three. Much like Windows 8, I fully anticipate the upgrade price, at least early on, to be no more than the $40 they charge for the upgrade to Windows 8. There's even rumors that it might be free for owners of Windows 8.1. I wouldn't put a lot of stock in that, but you never know. But given that huge pinup demand plus a very low price to upgrade for existing Windows 7 machines and Windows 8 machines, pretty much a no-brainer. Reason number four, Windows 8 is technically a brilliant operating system. It's fast, it's smooth, it's stable. Really, the problem tends to boil down to two things, Metro and the lack of a start menu. With that in mind, um, the upgrading is going to be an absolute no-brainer for most people. Expect to see even more improvements in speed, stability, and security in Windows 9, in addition to more support for a better support for things like DirectX 12 and a new version of Metro, Metro 2. You'll be able to run those Metro apps in Windows mode on the desktop. It's going to be a much better experience for a lot of people. And finally, reason number five, and that is the rise of the hybrid PC. These machines make a tremendous amount of sense for a lot of people. It could be a tablet or a great Ultrabook. Something like the Surface, but not quite. I don't think Surface 3 is quite there yet for the everyday person, but they're coming, and businesses are going to love them. They're going to save them a lot of money, because why? It's a tablet and an Ultrabook all in one. It makes a tremendous amount of sense. This is going to create a hot new market. PC sales, the, uh, the fall of those have stabilized, and we're actually starting to see an increase. Not to mention all the millions of PC enthusiast gamers, everybody that's out there that can't wait to get their hands on a new and improved version of Windows, which will be Windows 9. This is going to be create a new market, these hybrid PCs. I guarantee it. People are going to love them, and it's going to be uh, creating quite a reason to go out and get a new machine that will be running Windows 9. You know what, Apple? Love your stuff. The Cupertino. You need to fire up those copiers. Bruce Taylor, I'll talk to you later.